eyes. That is fucking, you're thick. C-I-C-C. -C. So real quick, let's give you once over of everything we got here. Alright, that's it. That's all you get to see. So we went to some flea markets today as well as uh, some other shit. Okay. We went, we went to uh, flea markets today as well as Game of Video Games and uh, another game store. We've got a haul to show you. We've got all laid out the desk here. The name of the place, Sun Palace. Um, Propaganda Palace. Propaganda Palace. I don't know. Propaganda. Yeah, it's a weird name. Propaganda so, Palace. All this stuff here is from uh, Game Over. That stuff is from Propaganda. They this stuff is flea market stuff. I'm telling like Patrick that. so he knows. I know. I know which one it is, you fucking, fucking motherfucker. <laughs> so let's see. Let's start with the what the flea market stuff since I was going first. That one is the, the first flea market we went to wasn't that great. The people were just like, eh. Didn't find anything good, so it was very subpar. Some guy was a chode, and was like, I found games I really want. It's like, oh, the other one's like, oh no, they got to be together. 100 EP's, like, for yeah, the consoles and everything. They got to be together. No so. Genesis games by themselves. Yeah. yeah. So. He couldn't take games out because he had to sell them all together, even though he probably could have made more money selling them individually. So, putting it together. So, anyways, at, at one of the tables at that place, one of the vendors, Patrick got uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken. PlayStation 3. Yeah, there you go, that's a good thing. And then Blade X, I guess, is what this called? Blade. Just Blade? Okay. I can't see the X. Yeah. Megasifer. Megasifer. And then I got this when Ben got something the over there. So when Ben tries to hit stuff, I got this with that last second because it was five bucks. That's a good game. Um, and then at the same flea market, we got... Patrick, was a yeah, that one's actually a different flea market, so I got the one. Yep. Um, at that same shitty flea market, Patrick got these two. He was gonna put them back, but then I was like, "Hey, throw this in because I want this," and he hooked us up with a decent deal. Not the greatest, but a decent deal. So, okay. so I'll throw you these. Um, yeah, I think something like it was, it was. It was like ten bucks off. It, it, yeah, it was ten bucks off. So it wasn't a great deal, but I really wanted this, and that was still better than I see it typically elsewhere. And that's really it for that one. Oh, he did. He did get something from that same marketer within that NBA punch out. Okay. Um, and I got Luminous Plus for the PS2. I didn't even know that came out on the PS2. For five bucks. Uh, and then on the GBA for like. It's it normally go, game? Yeah, normally yeah. It goes thirty to fifty, but I got it for twenty. Like that's all he was charging for it. Drill dozer. Yeah. Yep. That's so, fucking asshole. That's the weirdest looking Game Boy game I've ever seen. Is that like an import or something? Or? Um, no, no, that's how it was released over here. Because that, um... It's just it, a big cartridge. Well, right. no, because that is, uh... It's all wrong with it. Well, it could be, uh... It has, uh... Rubble. rubble. Ru what? Yeah. What? Yeah. No it's a rumble pack. fucking shit. I'm trying to have a game when we get home. Remind me, please. I don't want to try that. It's, uh, it's that same assistant from Brawl, I think she's a... Oh, her, her. Really? like, screams, ah, and then just no, back and forth. Okay, that's cool. Since you mentioned the flea market where you got yeah. those games at... Um, Star Wars Battlefront. And the one... Yeah, Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, from that guy, I got a bunch of foil Yu-Gi-Oh cards, for like a buck a piece. This was the like main one that I saw that I really wanted to go to because that was like a promo card that was released um, or something like that. Either a promo card that was released as part of a Yugi pack um, or a Yugi box set a couple years ago. Uh, along with the rest of like those Duelist Kingdom Mark cards. Um, and then I guess. Showed up well. Showing off my own bike, sorry. Okay. And I got some more video cards, which came with like, you know, duplicates of some of the god cards and stuff like that, and they were all for them. Um, Very so nice looking cards. Yeah. And he got great deals for both sets. So, that was pretty good. That's all I got. Yeah. So, you didn't gonna get be, much. I'm going to be sorry for the rest of the video. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then... Patrick second picked flea up. market. Yeah, the second flea market. Patrick picked up. Do you want to show me what show me? Well, that, that, and Ben's cards. No, that was separate. Those oh, oh no, no, no. He, he did 50 for this and those three. Okay, yeah. Got 
never dead for the PS3. So our good old buddy, Captain Psychopath, did a review on <laughs> So I got never dead for the PS3. Our good friend, Captain Psychopath, did a review on it. And it, looked, it, out. it looked interesting enough, so I was like, ah, I'll give it a try if I ever come across it. And I think this is like what originally tried to like pay Ten. bucks for it. Something like that. And then I picked up Tiny Toon Adventures, Plucky's Big Adventure, because he was only asking five bucks for it. And, you know, it was in pretty decent condition, you know. Not the greatest, but it was oh, pretty playable. Oh, that's playable. That's pretty good. That's pretty playable. So it was like five bucks. I was like, eh, it's Tiny Toon Games. It shouldn't be too terrible. Yeah. Go for NES, because it says Capcom. I got Viper for seven bucks. You well, know, actually, you got a better deal than that. Yeah, he knocked off a lot of money. That's the main. That's the market price. Yeah. Or the price he was charging originally. And then, if I fucking keep hearing Norm talk about these ones, I got bases loaded. One in, two, one in the second season together. Go like, fuck it, why not? The last NES game I got was Muppet Adventure: Chaos at the Carnival. Because for some reason, kid shows are usually really good games on the NES. They're either hit or miss. I feel like that should be a decent one. Probably the most expensive game out of all those was Saturday Night's Slamsters. Yeah, Slamsters. <laughs> made by Capcom. It's cool, interesting because it actually has Hagar from Final Fight as a playable wrestler. Oh, really? Right. Okay. So it's pretty much like a beat em up wrestling sort of game. It's really fucking fun. So he got all those that he just showed you. He had those picked out. And then I saw these. And we were talking to the vendor for like a good 10, 15 minutes while Patrick was looking around. About 10 minutes. Um. He was a really, really good guy. I forgot his name, but he's really cool. Wasn't it like John? Probably. He was really cool, though. Um, we just talked, you know, shot shit with him for a while about, uh, you know, old toys and, like, um, Transformers and stuff like that. Just, just, just talked. It was like sweet. So, we got that as well as this with an actual chain. And my we favorite. Got the new fa we got the brand new uh, Mario Powers Ace Tennis character right here in yes. the flesh. And then my favorite. It's a shell that makes sounds. Damn it. And if you give it enough time, it'll reset. Got all those. He did all three of these for ten bucks and all those games, fifty bucks, so like fifty for everything. That was a great deal. I fell in love with these when I saw them. And he had three of them. He even had a Yoshi. What is a yellow Yoshi? Not like yellow Yoshi that much, so I didn't bother with yellow. I thought he was. I thought they were yucking it up with them all because that was taking too long. Yeah. Like, oh, fuck, I'm just sitting here looking. Nah, we were we were literally just talking the whole time because he's a very very cool dude. And then at a another. Yeah, and another vendor, Patrick got. Is that one we got the? You got yes. Too? Okay. I got a Backstreet Brawler. You know, the cover looks nice. I don't really know anything about these games. I'm just like, shit, yeah, give it a try, why not? He wasn't charging too terribly much for it. And at the same booth, I got The Goonies 2, made by Cap and Konami, game, so I mean, can't be too terrible. And then again, a billion likes. I do know about this one, I, be I believe this is the one that is the Treasure Master, 12 bucks, which he obviously knocked down the price because we put it all together. But I believe this is like a weird game that they are having a contest with where you have to like enter in stuff and blah blah and get a code to get to the final level and send it in then you win like prize money and whatnot. Oh. Okay. I could be wrong but I think, remember seeing something like this on the AVGN episode that was Not recently. Oh well, that could be a different game, I don't know. That's why I got it. Not a good game, it's just something to have. We've got Mac Max. It's a little robot fighting off a bunch of other alien parasite robotic things and you know, sometimes space games are pretty really good. Made by FCI at the top there. And usually Could space, be space shooter games for NES. Tend to be decent. All those that he just got, plus the Yugo cards that Ben showed, or at least half of them, were from the same vendor. And then also the same vendor, he had a stack of these for $20 a piece, or $25 each. He said if you get them all, I think it was about six of them. If you get all of them, then $20 a piece, so like 100 for all of them. But they were untested and didn't know the condition whether they work or not. That's why you're selling them cheap. So I am very willing to take that gamble and bundled it with Patrick and Ben's stuff and got it for $20 untested. But I have all the cables and stuff at home. I was able to go through them all and pick which one looked the cleanest and the best. This one is, the front plate is squeaky for some reason, but I can you know, fix that. But, clicks in fine. It's a clean condition, there's no real big gashes, cracks, dents, and there's no yellow fading either. The ports are clean, nothing's all gum. 
the inside mechanism feels responsive and not worn out, so it clicks in nice and solid. So I figured that would probably mean it's going to work. So I'll never, I won't know until I get home and test it, but if it's broken, I can fix it. I set out this morning, I said I was going to get an NES for $20, because I've been looking for one for like a fucking year, and I found one for $20. So pretty much all that stuff to go with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the games. $105. For like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, because the Yu-Gi-Oh cards are actually pretty expensive, the ones that have been picked out, but he got a fucking good deal on them, because they were expensive cards. That was, yeah, that was the end of the, um, the, the, the flea market stuff. Now we have Game Over Video Games. Okay, so I got me a couple games there for myself. Um, nothing special, ATB Alpha Fury 2, because I have it loose, but not in case. And Alpha Fury 4 and Alpha Reef Sale, because I have the regular one, I think, but not for Reef Sale. And then, again, for our buddy Marino, I've been getting him a few games. i got a few back at home that I'll show you all probably, but he's looking for basically the Halo games and the Forza games. So, we've got, why are you doing that? i got him Forza 4, I want to fall down. Halo 2, and Halo 4. So, i got all those for Marino. And now Patrick will show the stuff that he got for us. Oh, wait. Wait, never mind. Yeah, go ahead. We're okay. good. 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 i got a... Uh... Your edition in the guidebook to Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Because I already have the, the Wii U version. Which, you know, it's good. No, well, you just strategy guides characters, telling them what their attacks are, potential KO, weight, and class, one on one strategy, free for all strategies. Just for all the characters in there. They're all guide. It's only five bucks, so I was like, okay. Plus, also gives you tips with, like, you know, the subspace emissary, like what to do in it, all that extra stuff. The basics, walk through a bit, brawl matches, different maps. It tells you the size of the map, the type it is, tier hazards it has. It's cool. It gives you all the special. I played a lot of brawl heavily see. back in the day. I played a lot of brawl. Subspace Emissary twice. Uh, just so much online play. It was great. Can you show them Waluigi or something? Maybe. Yep. I also picked up uh, Nintendo Power issue number 6900. 12, 212 <laughs> from uh, February 2007. Only got because it has Wario, wow, Wario on the fucking front cover. And on the back it says Trauma Center. Thought it'd be cool, you know. Shows off like some games. Still Nintendo Power, so it's gonna be all colorful. Is that fucking pot leaf I just saw? That's a fucking pot leaf. Holy shit, that's a pot leaf. <laughs> what are you. <laughs> 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 <coughs> Look at this. Move, Patrick. Or no, there you go. Now that's what I call chain chomping good. Next one I got was another Nintendo Power. This is issue number 74. Front cover is Donkey Kong Land, the Game Boy Color version of Donkey Kong Country. Oh my god, I didn't know Jordan made it in this magazine. Wait, what? Ah! <laughs> oh, I didn't know shit. Jordan made it in this magazine. Brought me right back then. It's a little bit. Oh, fuck. How did that hurt? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. rubber that thing hit me. <laughs> this is one of my favorite things to look at as the top 20 NES <laughs> SNES games. Number one, of course, Donkey Kong Country, followed by Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, and Final Fantasy III, then Metroid, and then Super Metroid at number four. Mm -hmm. That talks to us Game Boy based movie, movie based games, which of course Lion King was number one. Hall of Fame, Legend of Zelda <laughs> was, in, was on the top 10 <laughs> charts. <laughs> Legend of Zelda was in the top 10 charge for 76 months. <laughs> oh! But, you know, that's expensive. And they were selling that for four fucking dollars? It's to be expected. There's like a lot, there's probably a lot of kids who ripped a lot of stuff. I guess, but like, everyone that I have at home, I have a lot of old uh, Nintendo Powers. They got a collection in the hall like a long time ago, and they're. None of them are that bad. Busy in fact. Yeah, there he is. You'll put it Now, just cool things. I, I just have a blast just going through these, even though I wasn't even alive during this time or even had these grown up. It's just nice to look at the relics of the past and see what they have to offer. Like some of the upcoming games. It's my fucking card! Well, here, 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 not forever. What card is going to be sneak? Hey, there you go, it's ten I really like fucking Nintendo Power Man, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I fucking just hear you. Just scared him away. And then, uh, at the same game over video games, I picked up fucking cunt. Since I ever had the 
the other Inuasha game. You know what? I'm just gonna sit down for this. I'm gonna sit down. They're gonna just, I'm just gonna do this. Fuck. Fucking see them over there? Do you see this bullshit happening over there? This is going on Jazzy Wings. This is Ben, man. See this? Never mind. Okay. Now we're gonna make a little cut. Yeah, we'll do some editing. <laughs> that scraped my eye and my arm. <laughs> so while at the same game over video game, I already had like a Inuasha game that was previously for the PS2, I don't remember what it's called. It had like all the characters on the front and like blue skies and like trees behind them. So I got Inuasha Feudal Combat for the PlayStation 2. So I have both Inuasha games for PS2. I don't know if there's another one, which I doubt there is. I had the same thing. I got Ark the Lad. Toilet of the Spirits. Two Light. Toy Light? I don't know. T-O-I Light of the Spirit. PS2. There we can scan all the manuals and discs are there. This is in pretty good shape, I'd say. I don't know much about this. It looks like to be an early play yeah, it's an early PlayStation 2 game. Judging by the way, like all the, like, the stuff that are back there showing like the scissor requirements and whatnot, blah blah blah. 2003, you know. It's in the early days. And then GameCube, I got Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, Card Revelation. Revolution, or you want to say it. But, um, you know, everything's there. Good condition, whatnot. And, you know, the game's probably just like a weird card game that you have to use with your attacks and whatnot. Kind of like what, Kingdom Hearts 2, was it? Where you use like weird cards? No, Kingdom cards. Hearts, uh, well, technically 2. Uh, Chain of Memories. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts game. Card based cards. fighting game. Yeah, kind of, yeah card based then, fighting game. PlayStation 3. Oh my god, Devil May Cry 4. Good game. Because it's Dante. And Been Dante recently re released on PC, it's special edition, badass, super, yada yeah. yada. No, it's a PS3 game, of course, it's gonna be clean, looking like that. Devil May Cry 4, you know, can't go wrong with like these Devil May Cry games if they had the original Dante. Then for well, actually, Devil May Cry 4 isn't about Dante. It still has Dante in it. Dante's in it, but it's not about Dante, it's about some other guy. And still, he's in it as a playable character. He's a cool he's character. Not both, and then for the PSP, I got. Disgaea Infinite. Yeah, Infinite because I'm trying to get more Disgaea games because I really do like the series and want to get into a lot more of it. And then because uh, somebody at work wanted this, I picked him up at NHL 15 because he's a hockey cuck. And that's it for game more video games. It's the location here wasn't as good as the location in Houston, but we're going to the other location in San Antonio tomorrow because it might be better. Who knows? We'll see. Then, then we stopped at a game store I looked up online and saw. It was it looked pretty cool. I saw a few inside pictures. Like, eh, sure, we'll go there. It's called Propaganda Palace. Mm -hmm. You got it right this time, probably. <laughs> yeah. We were in there, started chatting with them a little bit, and they'll probably show you like a, like a small video or a, or a few pictures right about here. But it was packed full of games. Anywhere you looked. Look, the video is right above my hand. Or it was. You don't do that stupid editing crap. You just put it on the full screen so they can get a... Put pictures there, not the video part. And they had like games, like wall games, just like everywhere you turn once you lot. Because you walked in here, you see like a bunch of vinyls like here, here, here. And you walk through like a little hallway into a door. And then you take a turn, just plastered with nothing but games. Like expensive games, Metroid Prime, Special GameCube Edition, all the Mario Party games. Everywhere you 64. turn games and they were all expensive. Oh yeah, because they had a bunch of rare stuff in there. They collected the rare shit and didn't want to sell it, so they had it at high prices. They are basically like, look, everything here is for sale, but it's not cheap because we collected it. And we don't want to let it go. <laughs> That's pretty much the vibe they They're, they really, they're, they're nice was, about it, they're awesome. They but sell. They really are keen to sell what they have a lot of overstock of, which is, you know, your typical PS2 games, and GameCube games, and stuff like that. Not so much the rare collectible stuff. So. Alright, so while I was there, I was looking at some of the. Not 64, but. PlayStation. All these are PlayStation. Like five PlayStation 2 games, one PS3 game. The solo PlayStation 3 game I got was Sengoku Basira Samurai Heroes by Capcom. 
Sengoku. Looked like an interesting, like, weird, kind of almost like Dynasty Wars fighting game. So I was like, eh, sure. It's made by Capcom, so it should be good. Next after that, speaking of Dynasty Warrior kind of games, I got Dynasty Warriors 3, 4, 5 for uh, PS2. 3 was is in really fucking good condition. Like It is looking good, looking gorgeous. Everything about it is pretty mint. Dynasty Warriors 5, Extreme, Extreme Legends. Now the case kind of looks a little beat up. But, you know... Manual, eh, it's looking, looking like at least 50%, like 90% good. Game disc, you know, as always. So I got three, four, and five of Dynasty Warrior games. Which is looking good. The Persona, I got Persona 3. It's not the FE edition, it's just the first original Persona 3 for PlayStation 2. It's an Atlas game, because Atlas basically. Atlas is good. That was good. I need to get into it. I already have two and three, so I needed it. So I have the Woo! Fatal Frame. Case is kind of beat up. No. Yeah, they act like as a super minty, perfect condition. Like, oh shit. Yeah, it's not really. And they even have the manual. Just a disc and a fucking case. Yeah, but I, I needed it badly because I have two and three. So I got all that stuff together, which she did give me a good deal on the Persona 3 at least. So yeah. Plus. So there's all that. And then we went to the Best Buy. So yeah. Had... We're gonna do Best Buy real quick because Patrick wanted to grab. Me this because so we can play he, together finally. Yeah, because Ben. Have it. Now I have it. So thank you, Patrick. And then while I was in there, I saw this copy. I was like, fuck it. I have Gamers Club, so I might as well use it. I got so we're online, Fatal Bullets. It's a MMO, pretty much gonna be like Gun Gale Online is, so Roman MMO like shooting game. And that was everything for today. So yeah, that was a not say it's a good haul. Good replacement for a Retro Palooza this year. I got a pretty decent amount of change. Good amount of games with all that. Games. Oh, shit. If you would like to see a video on how this was made, please check the video at the link description below or some bullshit. I don't know. This is Patrick, signing off. And you just have room to don't, don't, don't talk to shows?